Hello everybody, welcome to Joy Starter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is July 27th, 2023. And today's daily scripture readings are found in Romans chapter 5 verses 12 through 21. And Psalm chapter 46 verses 1 through 2. But I will read all of Psalm chapter 46 and go back and reiterate verses 1 through 2. And as always, we are getting started with the index scripture first. So Romans chapter 5 starting at verse 12 and the word says therefore just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because all sin for until the law sin was in the world but sin is not imputed when there is no law Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned, according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who is a type of him who was to come. But the free gift is not like the offense, for if by the one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned, for the judgment which came from one offense resulted in condemnation, but the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and the... I'm sorry. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on the index card, I just reiterated verse 19. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. So we know by the one man's disobedience is Adam and the one man's obedience is Jesus Christ. And then I have written, thank you, Jesus Christ, for your obedience to Abba Father, which is Father God. And now, let us turn to Psalm chapter 46, starting at verse 1. And the word says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, just as the break of dawn, the nations raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Say that. Amen. Now I know not too long ago. I felt like this was. Alright. It was. July 19th is when I went ahead and read. 
all of uh, Psalm 46. So allow this to be a great reminder. And know who God is. Be still and know that I am God. And going back to reiterate. That's right. I said I will reiterate verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength. Who is our refuge and strength everyone? God. And he is a very present help in trouble. Verse 2. Therefore we will not fear. What won't we do? We will not fear. Why? Because God is our refuge and strength. And he is a very present help in trouble. Even though the earth be removed. And though the mountains be carried away into the midst of the sea. God is our refuge and strength. He is a very present help in trouble. He is with us. As we see in verse 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. And we just need to remember who God is. Be still. Don't worry about the things that you are seeing that is going on. Just be still. Know that what God says in verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. Know that he is with us. Know that he is our refuge and our strength. And he is a very present help in trouble. So he is there with us. Just trust him, believe in him, lean on him. Walk through the storm with him, knowing that he is with you. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.